China's fourth aircraft carrier, the new master of the seas, behind the technological revolution. China is on the cusp of a significant milestone in maritime military capability with the imminent reveal of its fourth aircraft carrier, a move that has sparked widespread speculation regarding its propulsion. Will it embrace nuclear power? This pivotal announcement was teased by Yuan Huaji, the esteemed political commissar of the People's Liberation Army, PLA Navy, amidst the fervor of Beijing's high-profile political gatherings. Yuan, doubling as a delegate to the National People's Congress, NPC, subtly hinted at this breakthrough on the fringes of the NPC's latest convening. His response to inquiries from the press was both cryptic and promising, suggesting that details about this technological marvel would soon surface. The trajectory of China's aircraft carrier program has been remarkably smooth, devoid of the technological roadblocks that often plague such ambitious endeavors. Yuan's confidence in the program's progress underscores China's significant strides in naval technology and its commitment to expanding its maritime capabilities. Yet, Yuan was quick to clarify that China's growing fleet of carriers isn't intended to challenge U.S. naval dominance, but rather to fortify China's defense posture. He underscored the defensive ethos of China's military strategy, which prioritizes sovereignty, territorial integrity, and the safeguarding of national rights. Yuan's narrative extended to the capabilities of China's carriers, suggesting they are designed for operations well beyond the nation's shores, thereby enhancing China's ability to project power and protect its interests globally. Amidst growing U.S. naval presence in the West Pacific, Yuan remained resolute, assuring that China's military is more than capable of handling any challenges posed by U.S. carriers, emphasizing a holistic approach to national defense. The buzz around China's fourth carrier lit up social media, with millions eagerly anticipating its debut. This enthusiasm reflects not only national pride, but also the strategic importance of such assets in modern naval warfare. Experts consulted by the media anticipate that China's naval expansion will continue, in line with its aspirations for a formidable Blue Water Navy. This expansion is deemed essential for safeguarding the nation's sovereignty and supporting its broader strategic objectives. The operational dynamics of aircraft carriers, with their cyclical routines of maintenance, training and deployment, highlight the strategic calculus behind China's naval buildup. Analysts are divided on the future direction of China's carrier program, debating the merits of nuclear versus conventional propulsion, each with its distinct advantages and trade-offs. China's naval fleet currently comprises two conventionally powered carriers, the Liaoning and the Shandong, both employing ski jump ramps for aircraft launch. The third carrier, the Fujian, represents a leap forward with its larger size and advanced electromagnetic catapults, signaling a new era in China's naval capabilities as it gears up for sea trials. As China stands on the brink of unveiling its latest carrier, the world watches closely, keen to see how this new vessel will shape the geopolitical landscape and what it signifies for the future of naval warfare. Technological evolution of the Chinese aircraft's carriers. China's naval prowess, underscored by its expanding fleet of aircraft carriers, marks a significant phase in the country's maritime strategy. As the PLA Navy evolves, it's crucial to delve into the technical nuances that set these modern Leviathans apart. Liaoning, Type 01. China's inaugural carrier, a refit of the Soviet-era Admiral Kuznetsov class, serves as a cornerstone for naval training and operational doctrine. With a displacement of about 60,000 tons, it employs a ski jump takeoff, which, while limiting aircraft payload and fuel capacity, provides a straightforward method for launching fixed-wing aircraft. Shandong, Type 002. An indigenously designed iteration of the Liaoning, the Shandong boasts enhancements in design and technology, including improved living quarters for crew and a larger flight deck. Its ski jump takeoff system continues to define its operational capabilities with a displacement slightly exceeding that of the Liaoning. Fujian, Type 003. A leap forward, the Fujian represents the pinnacle of China's carrier design, moving away from ski jump takeoffs to electromagnetic catapults. This system, 
akin to the one used by the U.S. Ford-class carriers, enables the launch of heavier and more diverse aircraft, including those equipped for electronic warfare and aerial refueling. With a displacement estimated over 80,000 tons, the Fujian stands as a testament to China's technological advancements in naval warfare. Electromagnetic catapults. This cutting-edge technology marks a significant shift from the traditional steam catapults, offering a more efficient and controlled way to launch aircraft. The system allows for a higher sortie rate, meaning more aircraft can take off in a shorter period, enhancing the carrier's operational tempo. Nuclear propulsion speculation. The debate around the propulsion of China's next carrier, potentially the fourth, hinges on the strategic flexibility offered by nuclear power. Such a system would grant the carrier unlimited range and endurance, a crucial factor in blue water naval operations that aim to project power far from the homeland. Air wing composition. The air component of these carriers, primarily consisting of the J-15 fighter jet, is expected to evolve. With advancements in carrier technology, especially with the introduction of electromagnetic catapults, the PLA Navy might integrate more advanced and specialized aircraft, including stealth fighters, early warning aircraft, and more capable anti-submarine warfare platforms. Strategic implications. The development and deployment of these carriers signify China's intent to secure its maritime interests, project power, and maintain a significant presence in key global waters. The transition from ski jump to catapult-assisted takeoffs, coupled with the potential for nuclear propulsion, underscores China's ambition to field a navy capable of global reach and sustained operations. As China's fourth carrier looms on the horizon, its technological attributes and strategic implications are poised to redefine regional maritime dynamics, offering a new chapter in the annals of naval warfare. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Defense Labs YouTube channel for aviation and defense industry news and updates.